Hey everybody, what's up? Well, survived my colonoscopy yesterday, so clean bill of health. So I'm not following in my dad's footsteps, but what I did was um, I ripped off my two little spotlights I had riveted here and I put this on. Um, those little spotlights, they kind of suck, so that's what that does now. And I had the same issue when I'm mowing at night. So when I'm mowing, I can't see over here. And uh, so a lot of times what happens is when you go around something, this catches. So what I've been wanting to do is make a, like a bumper plate like this, so to speak. So when you go by something, it'll slide the deck past it. and not Because this gets caught on freaking everything. You go around a tree... It'll get caught in there, and, and it's going to drive me nuts. But that's for a, a later date. So I bought these little guys. They're like 17 bucks. You get two of them. And uh, these are brighter than hell. And uh, I wanted it to light up down here on the side so I can see what the hell I'm getting next to. So I'm looking around for a place to mount it, and I'm thinking, well, I can probably mount them in here. You know, mount them on these bolts in here, like this, and aim them out. And then I looked up a little bit higher, and I'm like, well, no shit, there's a mount plate right here. And uh, what bolt did I take out? Oh, I took out the wrong bolt. I took one bolt out back there. But that's okay, because I needed to use it for a size reference. So I'll put that bolt back in. Didn't realize the other bolt was so close. So these bolts basically hold on the side tanks and, and whatnot, but so I measured them and they're from center to center the 3.25 and I drilled these out 3.25. So these will mount up in here like this, my angles, and then I'm going to have to extend them out to reach this. So now my lights will be mounted way up in here like this. I mean, you won't even be able to see them until you walk by and this will light up this whole area out here and all the separate light switch and there's going to be one on both sides obviously obviously because i made two of them so um well my holes are right on the freaking money it's amazing when you use uh the correct tools how you can get your holes identically lined up cut my steel a little bit longer but that don't matter so these We'll bolt into here, up into there, and then I'll have to make up my mounts. I need a little bit of a drop down because this recess is in here. So they're recessed in about a quarter of an inch. So when this recess is up in, I'll know, you know, I'll just weld off the bottom of these. So what I can do is I can just go back over to the bench and show you. Got my glove here because these were hot when I was drilling them. Um... This is all black topped. So I finished my black top all the way up to this carpet. And I laid this down because I was working out here last night on that custom bracketry work on this. And I was getting black top all over my pants. That's why I'm wearing them again today because I shitted them all up. So what's the point of putting on a fresh pair and ruining them? Um, well, another thing is I moved my heaters out of here so I had more room. I backed my wife's scooter in, and I still, I'm still into the timer. I just ran a wire up and around to move her scooter back here out of my way. Because every time I came in, I'm tripping over the damn thing. So, all right. Let's go back over here. Update you on all my stupid crap. So here's the other light. I tell you, I never used to use these micrometers until I got one. And now, they're making my measurements so much better. So these are what I took off. These were on the front of the machine. And I'd hit them all the time, and I'd knock them out of whack, and they're, they're shit. I might just put one on the back of the machine to light up behind me. Maybe. Probably not. So, these would be bolted in. So now what I gotta do is make a bracket with this little baggie open here. So every time I go to open something, that's generally when I hit the pause button. 
So let's see if we get in the bag. So we got some wicked long bolts that we're not going to need. So I'm only going to really need just these little guys. And these mount exactly the same way. And if you ever see these, when you mount them, these fins go up in the air. These are heat dissipators because you don't want the heat trying to get, get trapped underneath this. So these always get mounted up this way. So that way the, the heat will come in and it will escape out. Because these do get warm. So, this is exactly identical to the front ones I put on. What are you doing burnouts for over there, huh? Junior's doing burnouts on the floor. What a mistake teaching them how to do that. Right? So, it's another nice, wonderful Wednesday. We've got a little tiny bit of rain. That's it. What? What are you whining about? Oh, my God. This one's... Yeah, see, these Chinese ones, sometimes these screws go right in like that, nice and easy. But sometimes they stop dead short and you can't get them all the way in. Freaking junk. All right, so... So now I got to make... Let's see if I use a super hard end. Sometimes they break loose and they'll go all the way in. Hopefully I don't break the freaking bolt off. Oh boy, it's getting hard. You know what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna put another washer behind this because the last, the very last thing I wanna do is to break this son of a bitch off in there. So there's no mousey over there, Junior. There's no point in whining about it. So I'm going to stack up some washers on it just to be safe. That's what you do with this cheap China shit. You got to be careful. What are you whining about? All right, because I want this to hold steady. So, vents up. So now I've got to make this mount to this, which is going to be pretty much cake. So... Wow, these are bigger than that. So now I'm just going to have to do a little welding, I think. I'll just get a piece of, uh, what do I got laying down here? That's bed frame. Bed frame is almost impossible to drill through. So, okay, let's make this video shorter. So basically, I get a thin piece of metal to go here, and I'm going to weld it on like this. And that's all that's going to happen. So this will bolt in. And then this piece, which will be the same thickness as this, i got to find some. And I'll just bolt it in. And this way, once I get it up into place, and these brackets, I can just hold the brackets and I can just turn this light up and down. What are you whining about? What do you want? He's just going to sit there and stare. What are you looking at? You want kitty food? Huh? Just what you want? See the tail starting to go? Is that what you want? Huh? That's what he wanted. See? It's amazing, isn't it? How the dogs teach us to do their stuff for them. Yeah, so this is actually going to be really easy. Um, I've got remote switches coming for this stuff. So, yeah, I obviously won't be using that. So, I'm, I know I got some thin stuff down here I could use. I mean, I mean, this... Some of this angle, I mean, bed frames are a bitch because they're already tempered. So, I'll find some scrap. I know I got some of this laying around somewhere. I think it's tucked up in the rafters someplace. I got 10 feet somewhere. But, yep, that's all I'll do. Just weld the flat piece across here and bolt them in. And that's going to work out freaking awesome. So, that's the big excitement going on here today. Not really much. I'm just relaxing. Kind of taking it easy. Just getting an idea on this. Um, I think I've showed you I put red lights back here on this. So, I'm going down the road. I don't get my ash ran over. So, I'm going to turn my key on. Hey, come on. 
Another thing what I'm going to do now that it's getting colder out, but since it's getting colder out, I'm going to have a switch to shut off these two. Well, let me aim where the hell I'm going. So I'm talking to myself. I'll have a switch to shut off these two fans, and I'll let these two fans run. So that'll conserve on power also. So I'll just tag a switch on the, under this hot line here, and I mount it. I can mount, Actually, I can mount the switch right here. Just if I need more cooling power in the summer, I'll just kick on these two. But I won't need it really, you know, now that it's cooling down. But So, I like playing with my lawnmower. It's fun. This is my lawnmower tractor. But, well, there's the end of this video. Short and sweet. Um, like I said, the garage is, I got it all black top all the way over in the corner. And this is black top here that I'm standing on. I put an extra security bolt in here because what happens is, when, see, now I get a big gap in here for air to come in. So that's for winter time. So I can pull my door shut and keep the seal going so I don't have cold air blowing in from the winter time, which I'm going to have some under here anyways. But I usually just lay a 2 by 4 across there. So the place is getting better. Little by little, you know, I'd love to put that flexible floor shit on here. You know, the uh, epoxy floor, that'd be cool in here. But, nah, that ain't going to happen. All right, so I don't think I'm going to finish this today. I just wanted to get an idea of what I'm going to do. And now I've got a direction I'm going in. So I'm happy. And uh, my asphalt crack filler came in, so I got a whole case of this shit now. There's 50 bucks sitting right there. You know, the guy could have sealed it with his cart, but... Hi, Momo. Oh, shit. Junior took off with the red top. He can't be chewing on that. That's for the... Hey! There he is up there with it. Oh, my God, this little guy. Stop. Stop it. Stop chewing on that. You're going to screw the threads up. Then I won't be able to seal the kitty food. It's all full of lick lick in there now. God... So, I got, you can see the slime next to this tire. I keep losing a few pounds, so I got to keep my eye on that. I was going to let the air out of the tire yesterday and dump in half a bottle of slime and spin it for a while. Yeah, sorry, buddy. I took a, took a toy away from you. So, that one keeps losing a few pounds, like a pound a day. And I tried one of my Chinese chainsaws. Remember that one I thought that was blown up, that was seized up? I took it back here and beat on it for a little while and tried it. And uh, I cut a couple things off here. I cut this end off. I cut the rotted end off here. And then I took this slice off. So, I realized I stopped cutting right here because of the freaking screw in there. So, yeah, you can see how in the beginning it was, it was shaving really good and then it started turning into powder because that's what happens when your saw blade is dull. You get powder out of it. But you can see some nice big chunks of ripping out in the very beginning. As soon as I hit that, yeah, there's got to be a piece of metal in there somewhere. I don't know. Who knows? But my saw bar has been shipped. My chainsaw has been shipped. I ordered a secondary chain for it. And all of my add-on oiler shit should be coming in. Another thing is, since I'm really kind of falling in love with this blacktop, I'm doing this whole area. I'll be getting a few more bags of that. And I'm going to blacktop from here. And from the corner of this, right around to the corner of that. So I'm going to blacktop this whole piece right in here. Since now I'm turning into a blacktop professional. It's so nice having that blacktopped over there. It's just... Oh, spider. Did we get him? There he is. Right there, Junior, right there. There he is. Goddamn spiders. Yeah, never ending. Jesus, I thought I was done with these freaking things. 
Okay, so the spider saga continues. Last time there's one underneath my gas can. Nope. Nope. Not this time. I gotta fill them up. I've already got the uh, fuel stabilizer in those. All right. So that's that. I can't wait to get the big saw here. I mean, I made so many communications between me and and both sellers, and you know, so I get everything straight. And make sure everything comes in correct this time. And uh, that's it. So, like I said, I'm just taking it easy today. I cut a piece of metal off. Too bad it, I bent this. So, I'll save this for some other day for something. Who knows, you know? I always save all my garbage metal. Well, I guess that's it. Um, I got to change my wife's oil, too. Maybe tomorrow when I feel better. My stomach screwed up today. So, a little goofed up from yesterday. So, I'm not running at 100%, but a good thing is that I got a clean bill of health. See, I got a shitload of bed frames here. I dug these out from behind the wall. I had them back in there. But the bed frames are tempered. So they don't bend. That's why bed frames are such a bitch to drill through. You know? And people go, well, I can't drill through this metal. Yeah, because it's, it's tempered. It's spring steel. Good luck drilling through that. you got to use a plasma cutter. All right. That's it for me for now. And uh, probably by the next video, these will be done and installed and on. I'm waiting for my remote push switches like I have in my car. Um... I ordered a couple of them because I like how they work through a relay. So I've actually got like these coming, the wiring harnesses for these that turns on like the lights behind me. So that's what I'm putting on my mower. So yeah, I guess I've got some few more projects to do to putter around with. All the big stuff's done. So little black top over there to get rid of the puddle that's always right there. And then, uh, yeah, things are getting done. Can't believe it. All right, everybody. That is that, and I'll catch you later. Have a good one.